Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the European Nightcrawler only bins. They've been going since May 15th of 2019, and they've been kept apart from the other kinds of worms, and they were grown from just 500 cocoons that I got from Emily, the crazy worm lady. So let's have a look at these guys and see what they're doing. Looks like they're working on avocado. Got some decent sized worms here. Looks like the carrots are still hanging on. Not fast food at all. It's been probably two weeks since I've been down here. Not really I'm not seeing a whole bunch of food. I forgot to look up the video, the previous video, before I came down here. But uh, I'm assuming that it was carrots in the corner pocket. I'm not seeing anything besides those carrots, though. Let's rummage around just a little bit. Yeah, they were not cooked carrots. They were fresh carrots that had started to go a little bit and it's turning out that they are not definitely not rotten they look just the same as they did when I put them in not seeing anything else as far as food moisture is really good Seeing all kinds of cocoons in here. Spring is springing. So let me let me make them a little bit of a hole here. Fluff it up a little bit. Put that avocado pit in the middle of there. And uh, for right now, what we've got is overcooked rice, which I made on purpose for them because I was a little bit low on food this week. Um, just, you know, haven't got around to it, busy things in the spring. So, let me go find that. Okay, as fast as they go through food, this should be probably well on its way by the time we get back in here in a week. But uh, they've got enough grit in their bedding. I'm not going to add any more grit. I'm just going to bury that rice. Should be an interesting color of blue when we see it in a week. All right, put that carrot back in there. Maybe it'll it'll help a little bit. We've got some good castings happening here on the edges. But other than that, they're doing really good. So let me move you over to the horizontal bin. Okay, so here we go again with the horizontal bin. This is about the same volume, only instead of being vertical, it's horizontal. And again, let's see, I'm seeing a little bit of the carrots and the apples, but I'm seeing some spring towel action in here. A little, little more than I'd like to see. Get them all fluffed up and see what's going on here. It is pretty moist in here. The transition from winter to summer here in Illinois, in the United States, uh, tends to come with some very moist weather. And uh, generally the same can be said about the bins. The bins tend to get a little mucky. Um, but that's okay, the worms enjoy it. This bed is not ready to be harvested in any way, shape, or form. So uh, it's fine that it's, it's a little bit wet. Um, not, not thrilled about the springtails, so I am gonna go grab some of the um, neem cake powder and add that in. So here's some more of my long-term food. It's been two weeks and they've not even made a dent in it. They've already gotten through the onion. 
just a little bit left. That's a in progress avocado shell starting to dry out. Almost looks like wood at this point. Okay, let me get my neem cake. And I'm, I'm not really, I'm obviously not measuring this. It's a handful. Um, so probably a quarter cup. And I'm just going to incorporate this all the way in and uh, see if that doesn't slow down the little jumping things. I don't mind them being in here, but I don't want them taking over and eating the worm food. That's for my worm babies. Alright, so I'm going to make them a little bit of a hole here in the middle. And then they are going to get their glob of rice goo. Alright, now that it's nice warm weather, they should be able to go through... Uh, food a lot faster now, especially if it's fast food. So I'm just going to kind of get this incorporated just a little bit. But rice is definitely going to be a fast food. They will probably be either finished with this or nearly finished with this in a week um, with the amount of worms that's in this bin. I suppose there's probably a couple of pounds, a couple two or three pounds in here. But these are good sized worms and they generally eat quite well as long as the food is, is fast food and, and not uncooked carrots and the like. So uh, let me know what you think um, below about the rice. Have you fed rice before? Um, I've done it before and I usually have really great results. I get nice worm balls um, from all the breeds, even the African night crawlers like rice. So let me know what you think. So this is it for the European night crawlers that I started with the 500 cocoons back in May 15th of 2019, uh, which I now refer to as BC before COVID. Uh, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.